long a clitoris is, then yeah, you're fine. Again, sorry, we have weird rules. It's a, it's a touchy stream. It's a very touchy stream at times. Sorry. But yeah, no, you can call me MILF now. Thank you. That's a big compliment. Uh, Evil Marksman says, sigh, I'm turning 30 in September. Why the fuck is that a sigh? Why is that a sigh? 30s rock. I am 36. I will say my 30s have been my, the best years of my life. 30s rocks. Plush is, uh, 54. There's nothing wrong with that. 50s is awesome. You got, you got shit to do in your 50s. Just saying. I actually, uh, know a guy who's in his 50s, and I will say that dude is fucking caught for being in his 50s. Just saying. He's fucking hot for being in his 50s. Uh, you can totally get dairy-free holiday sauce. I don't know how you would make it, Eva Marksman, but I think you could totally do that. Uh, Eva Marksman, mm, you got good taste. Uh, minced and tatties is a good wholesome food. I like how the word, so big poor, uh, so big teddy said tatties, but as an American, I read that almost as a different word with an I. I'm right, sure. I kind of pursued. that intro. Thank you, Droid. Every time you say sup, nerds, it always makes me so happy. Welcome in, Droid. Thank you so much for the resub. You didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Anyone who doesn't know, all bits and subs from the stream go to feed our local homeless shelter every Thursday. All donations go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and we do that to balance out the fact that we are a bunch of fucking degens. Uh, okay. Try to make it at least every couple weeks because of how quick and easy it is. Quick and easy is good, evil marksman. Uh, did I miss something? I missed something. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, scrolling up. Damn, you guys are talking too fast. Uh, even Mark Spain, you're turning 30. That's not a bad thing. 30s are great. Coming from a 36-year-old. Mac and cheese in a bread bowl. It's all carbs, but it's so good. Glow bugs, I agree with you 100%, especially if there's bacon involved. However, your girl can't eat that. I am on an extremely low-carb diet because my body does not process carbs very well. So I'm like on a modified keto diet. Basically, what you're saying is very naughty for me. Like, that's temptation. I can't, I can't, I can't give in, I can't have that, but thank you for putting that in my head. Uh, yes, Evil Marksman does have really good taste. And, oh yeah, I've kind of pursued that net for some. Sounds good. Uh, guess I'll have to drink rum and toast to bourbon. Viking, yes, today's National Bourbon Day. It's okay if you're not bourbon. Big Teddy doesn't have bourbon either, but uh, rum is great. So cheers to everyone. Hope you're having a good week. Yeah. Okay. Ah, woo, woo, woo. God, every time we switch, it hits me like, not, not gonna say the comment that I was about to say. Hmm, how should I reword this? Uh. When you're expecting one thing and then something else happens, that's, yeah. Because I was taking a sip of my, my bourbon, but I forgot we had switched. So when I went from two bars to night side, I had a woo, woo moment because I forgot I had switched. Same thing just happened between night side to larceny. I was, I poured the drink, but it was still very unexpected when it went in my mouth. Oh, 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 okay. Yes, this one tastes, they all taste very different, but we've moved on to Larceny. We're on Larceny now. It is 92 proof. We're working our way up the ladder. We're gonna end at Four Roses, which is 100 proof. Moving on. Uh, I tend to make at least every couple of weeks because of how, yeah, makes sense. If you like it, keep it going. Uh, I have to make minced and tatties with reindeer, ooh, meat rather than beef. It's a uh, scrapped reindeer meat rather than ground. Fracking delicious as Big Teddy. I would love to put reindeer in my mouth. If there's a way I could procure it for December and I would love to make reindeer burgers, I don't know, like on Christmas, would be amazing. But it's, I think it's pretty hard to get reindeer over here in the, the States, especially on my side. Bloodhound lives not too far from me. If Bloodhound can get reindeer, he should tell me where he gets it from. Like if it's somewhere online, but I want reindeer. That sounds amazing. Uh, oh, I've been looking at variations of rare bit and blushing bunny looks as wait fuck what bloodhound the blushing bunny looks good as does the buck rabbit dude i don't know if bloodhound meant to make that sound raunchy or if my head is in the gutter but bro 
The fuck is a blushing bunny? I know what a bunny is. Not talking about the furry creature. Like, there's another thing that's a bunny that might make you blush. What's a blushing bunny? Inquiring minds want to know. I'd love to see you try making uh, some colon skink soup, which is a smoked haddock chowder. I already did, evil marksman. We had another Scottish man in chat, and I believe he made me make that. I made a colon skink before. Yeah. Uh, that there Scotsman, though, no longer comes into chat. We scared him away. It's okay. It happens to some people. Uh, news is, did I tell you the last guy I dated ghosted because he is, doesn't eat anything other than fried rice or fried noodles or fast food? Wait, what? Did I tell you the last guy I dated, I ghosted him. Oh, that makes more sense. I thought he ghosted you. Okay. I ghosted him because he doesn't eat anything other than fried rice, fried noodles, or fast food. Legit legit reason i've never ghosted anyone before i'm a little t i feel bad if i don't give them like a thank you but no thank you letter i never just like disappeared i always say goodbye before i leave um but that is a legit reason to be like hey you seem like a cool guy uh really had fun with you but i just don't think like blah 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 it's gonna work out long term wish you all the best hope you find me looking for a peace out bitch that's usually what i say as a no thank you for a second date hey i remember my no thank you second date thing it's been like 10 years since i said no to a second date uh but i i did have this like whole spiel i used to say uh because I, I didn't like ghosting people because i myself have been ghosted before <sighs> oh it burned so i i never ghost someone if i'm going to like peace the fuck out i will let you know i'm piecing the fuck out um but that's a legit reason to do it yeah yeah for sure God, if you guys get me by the end, if I don't get yeeted off stream and we don't run out of time, by the fourth bottle, you guys can ask me dating questions of the shit I did when I was in my 20s and I will tell you. Woo, your girl, your girl had a lot of first, I didn't, I rarely went on second dates, rarely went on second dates, but I did go on a shit ton of first dates. I may or may not have dated like half of the engineers in Seattle. I don't know, I have a thing for nerds. I have a thing for nerds. I dated... I went on a lot of first dates before I met that one. Um, I'd love to see you try that. Yep, I've done it before. Yeah, my best friend is kind of picky, but my sister usually is really open-minded. Uh, she just can't eat garlic, anything, fatty or fried tomatoes and spicy food because she has health issues. That makes total sense. She's a pastry chef, so she uh, is more into sweets, but does like savory foods here and there. Wow, she sounds like the fucking opposite of me, but I appreciate that. That's awesome. I eat mostly garlic. Fatty fried foods, tomato, and spicy shit. It's all my jam. We we would not culinarily get along. But yeah, that's funny. Did I tell you the last guy goes that's a funny story? Uh, all of these tabs of food open or all these tabs open of food stuff I want to try now. Thanks, lols. Yeah, that's what we're here for, Paxi. Uh oh, the girly parts length mixed it. Did uh we land on max length min average? No, plush, we didn't. All we heard was the tip is external the rest is internal and apparently the whole structure is four inches long and i felt really embarrassed because i actually didn't know that like i didn't honestly didn't know that uh you learn more about your own body than you never knew before yes exactly paxi thank you droid again for the reset i miss that movie pulp fiction well never seen it paxi you don't need to see pulp fiction you you really don't need to see it or if you it is one of those movies where it is a good movie. It is well done. It's got a big cult following. It's, it is a, it is a well done cinematic masterpiece. Do I ever want to watch it again? No. Should I ever, ever watch it the first time? Probably not. I do not enjoy watching the movie. That being said, it's a good movie. It's kind of the same with like Schindler's List. Or if you're into anime and Miyazaki movies, Grave of the Fireflies, both are good movies. They will leave you profoundly impacted. Am I glad I watched them? No, they fucking traumatize me. I don't want that. I, no, I never want to see that again. But is it a good movie? Yes. Pulp Fiction is a good movie. Grave of the Fireflies is a good movie. Shawshank Redemption is a good movie. Uh, what was the fuck of the one I said? Schindler's List. All good movies. Do I ever want to see them again? No. Should I even watch them one time? Probably not. Not me, at least. Other people, you guys can enjoy them. That shit is way too dark for me. Uh, 
Um, finish the fucking carrots now, please, says Big Teddy. I paraphrase there. Need that movie. No. Uh, now suddenly I want to sit down and watch Lord of the Rings with a British-style breakfast. Paxi, that's a great idea. You should totally do that. It, and then, and then, be like a hobbit? It's very hobbity. Old fashions use orange peels, not shredded carrots. We ain't doing old fashions, bro. We are just doing bourbon on the rocks with some water and slicing carrots. That's literally all we're doing. Honestly, that is all the mental capacity I have tonight. So that's what we're doing. Then I don't even know if we're gonna pull this off. Uh, I love native TikTok because they have such interesting foods like eating caribou and blugger. Paxi, what is blugger? I don't even know what blugger is. It's a native food? I don't even know. Blushing bunny sounds like a position. Oh, hell yeah, it does, LT. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Yeah, if it's called blushing bunny, there's um, props. Okay, so there's gotta be props. Blushing bunny. Okay, yeah, that could be a thing. It involves a prop, though. If it has bunny in the title, it has to have the prop. Okay, uh... It's a rabbit with tomato soup mixed into the sauce. What? A blushing bunny is rare bit, my bad, rare bit with tomato soup mixed in the sauce. I like what LT said instead. I think Malin would go crazy for a blushing bunny. I don't know, we'll see. Fried uh, rice slaps though, yes it does. I'm getting hungry now, that's what we do. Wonder what I should eat. Big Teddy, aren't you the king of sandwiches? I think you should put a sandwich in your mouth or why don't you get a blushing bunny? or some rare bit, or a chowder. How about some corn chowder? Just make something we said in chat tonight. Uh, I got, I got bored. Oh, I'm so, I know, news, it happens. That totally happens. It's a very normal thing. If, yeah, if you're a big foodie and you're dating someone who's like very, not into food, it's kind of hard. You like food gasms, they don't like food gasms. How is that gonna work? How is that gonna work? Uh, when you okay, uh, even Marksman says, when you think about it with electric cars being so quiet, they could make ideal cars in the zombie apocalypse. That's very good point. Rango is future is a fantastic movie. I haven't seen Rango. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, what was it about Pulp Fiction that makes you not want to watch it again? Or is it spoilers? My, it's a bit spoilers, but not. Um, I'm just gonna straight up say sexual violence. I can watch a lot of things. Uh, I can't watch anything that has sexual violence in it. I also can't watch things that have violence towards kids, uh, which Pulp Fiction doesn't. Um, but no, I don't like anything that is that. And Pulp Fiction has it, and I don't like it. And I also don't like really gritty movies where like the violence is just, just to fucking be violent is a little too much for me. So I don't watch a lot of Westerns as well, but no, Pulp Fiction is just a little too gritty for me. Shawshank is totally a rewatch movie. Yes, if you're not as sensitive as I am. I'm very sensitive to dark shit. It gives me nightmares. Like, uh, ugh. I can watch gore. I can watch suspense, thriller, horrors, you know, where it's like ghosts and shit. But when it's people doing horrible things to other people, I can't watch it. Again, happy vibes. I'm a happy bubbly person. Don't ruin my fucking bubbliness. I'm gonna say uh, blubber, lol, keyboard's going whack. No, it's cool, Paxi. Uh, oh my God, there's a mini Coke bottle. There's a mini Coke glass bottle in my supermarket. News, I'm glad you saw it and thought of me. That makes me happy. Uh, I think I'm gonna fry off some chicken mince and that uh, with some pasta maybe. Ooh, I think it's funny you guys say chicken mince. We say ground chicken, but you guys say minced chicken or chicken mince. To each their, like, to each their own. We're from different countries. It's just kind of cute. Uh, blubber is whale fat. I don't know what the blugger is, though. Fair enough. Uh, uh, what's up, doc? Okay, so a what's up, doc, is one tablespoon boiling water. Just use teapot. One tablespoon of honey juice and one table, or one lemon and two ounces of whiskey. Four ounces of carrot juice and ice? That's a what's up, Doc? I thought you were going for like a hot toddy there for a second. All right. What's up, Doc? That sounds like it's very good if you're about to get sick and you need some vitamin C and shit. Makes sense. 
Oh man, the blushing bunny sounds like a fantastic name for a strip club. Yes, it fucking does. A blushing bunny sounds like a strip club because you you get into the whole um Playboy bunny. Playboy bunny cute cosplay which BT dubs as much as I've cosplayed, I've never done a bunny cosplay before. What was I going to go as this year? Oh, I was going to go as Catwoman. I don't think I can do a Catwoman Playboy bunny, can I? Hmm, who am I going with? I'm going Fung, and I'm going with Lin J. I don't think I can get those girls to make matching Playboy Bunny, uh, Harlequin, Catwoman, Poison Ivy. I don't think I can get them to do it. But I am down for doing a bunny-style Catwoman someday. Spelled with a K. Yeah, maybe. I think I need to lose about, like, five more pounds before I do that. And I don't know, tone up or some shit. Uh, could not date someone that doesn't like food as much as me, says Paxi, lol. Uh, e even for being dairy-free, I will alternate so I can still enjoy stuff. Exactly, yeah. You gotta find someone who gets you. That's the important thing. Bloodhound's still awake. Fun fact, my cousin is in Shaw... <gasps> Your cousin is in Shawshank Redemption? No way, he was also in Lethal Weapon. The hell? Seriously? That's awesome, Bloodhound. So, if you've ever seen the movie Platoon... The helicopter that comes in the end of the movie and like rescues everyone or whatever, my uncle was that uh, platoon that came in and saved them at the end. That was my uncle. So he and a bunch of his uh, army special forces dudes, they got to go to the premiere of the movie Platoon because that end scene was based off my uncle and his homies. Yeah. My uncle is a uh, army... Uh, Green Beret Special Forces dude, and uh, he served three tours in Vietnam, and he was the motherfucker that raised me. So if you're wondering why I turned out the fucking degen ass swearing like a sailor that I did, it's because I was raised by a Green Beret. Are you surprised? Yeah. Uh, he raised me from kindergarten through fourth grade, I think very important times in child life. I was raised by a single Green Beret. He wasn't married, there was no other thing going on. It was just me and my fucking uncle. And oh my God, it should explain a lot. He was also a trained chef. Why is Jenny texting me this late at night? Sorry. I always panic when someone texts me because I'm like, why the fuck would you text me? at night and I always think it's some sort of emergency but I forget my friends are also night owls and so they text me random things about shoes in the middle of the night. And no, my friends IRL do not watch my stream so they don't know I'm streaming, but Jenny, those shoes are cute. What's up, Manicost? Welcome in, how are you? It's nice to see you. Uh, those are cool facts, those are totally cool. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, thanks for that FI. Uh, I don't like anything that has, uh, I'm assuming you mean, no, it, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, seeing kids are get hurt too. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, Paxi, I'm the same way. I'm, I'm sensitive to certain things. Not my cup of tea. Uh, evil marksman. I can't even. Oh, you're pronouncing it for me. Vaso. Oh, vasal vagal occurs when you faint because yeah, I have vasal vagal reactions all the time. Uh, such as a sight of blood or extreme emotional distress. It can also happen when your neurocardix. Psyopic. This vagal vagal reaction triggers a heart rate. Wait, where did that come from? Fucking <laughs> Jenny and her shoes. Uh, I started thinking about a uh, Lola bunny or a bunny, the girl from Bambi, when you keep saying the blushing bunny. Ah, ooh, that would be so cute. A, a bunny, a Bambi blushing bunny would be adorable. Disney bunnies in, in general would be super adorable. Bunny girls, like Playboy bunnies, Disney themed is super adorable. Uh, yeah, I always minced uh, chicken and beef. Very good. Uh, technically, says Big Teddy, mist and ground means are not the same thing. Wait, what? Explain, good sir. Explain. Minced and ground are not. So, is minced bigger? Like, it's really, really small chunks? And ground is, like, fucking ground? I don't know the difference. Tick, but... I don't know. I've never heard anyone else call ground meats, ground meats, except for Americans. Are we just weird? Maybe we're just weird. That would not be the first time that that happened. In general, Americans, we're not 
totally normal. Uh, I started thinking about a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. Ground meat originates from making meat paste in a mortar and pestle. And minced meats are meats that you chop into a paste with a knife. Wait. So one is pounded. The other one is ground. Pounded versus no, wait, one's with a knife. So one's pounded and the other one is with a knife. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you mentioned your uncle. I think he's the one you said someone. Oh, yeah, I tried to fuck him with the dog. Yeah, he's the badass. Can't remember exactly. Paxi, yeah, 100%. My uncle, the one who raised me, um, he's a fucking badass. He was the one that a bunch of high schoolers tried to mug one time. So it was him and my older brother, Mike. We're out for a walk with our golden retriever, Max, and a bunch of, like, three high school boys. I wasn't there. I heard the story later. Uh, a bunch of high school boys, three of them, four of them, tried to jump my uncle and my brother. They just saw a man walking what looked like he was his son and a golden retriever dog, and they fucking were trying to mug them. Ha! Motherfuckers fucking with the wrong dude. Yeah, my uncle actually trained our family dog, sweetest dog ever. Trained the dog, not necessarily to attack, but to scare the shit. So he unhooked the dog from the leash and said, or something, right? And the dog chased the boys barking ferociously. And then my uncle also took the leash, turned it around and like dong dong fucking whiplashed a couple of the boys. And I was like, why? Like, the little girl, Kathy, like, why the fuck would you mess with my uncle? My uncle, not a small man. He was, like, significantly bigger than my husband. So my uncle was, like, I don't know, 6'4", and maybe 250 pounds of solid muscle. Like, why the fuck would you mess with him? Anyways, those kids were stupid. But, yeah, that, that was the man who raised me as a little girl. My lead uh might explain some stuff about my personality but uh yeah that's my uncle he's the one that the motherfuckers tried to mug so when i heard the story i was like why did they attack you like I'm, they're high school students i'm looking at my uncle like why would they attack you that doesn't make any i think they just thought they outnumbered them stupid um but yeah that that was my uncle dan mrs get excited for a sweep the swamp shadow i am but i We'll have to find a place on the schedule for it. We have some shit going down right now, like with uh, the kids and their new schedule and all this other stuff. So I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to do it, but I'll be sure to message you to let you know. I saw it on the calendar that it was supposed to be today, but it's probably not going to be this week. I hope I can do it next week. But again, we just, we have a lot going on. I probably, I, w when I was at H Mart, I looked for gator meat and it wasn't there. So I'll have to go somewhere else to get it, but I will do my best to try to make it happen very soon. Uh, Droid says, so what if it goes through the electric or the hand crank grinder? No, those are neither knives or, I think that makes it ground at that point. Pounded meat, yeah, 100% fatty. Pounded meat, I'm all down for pounded meat. Hi neighbor, hi Uncle Stinky, welcome in. How are you, nice to see you. Uh, actually electric or hand crank grinder does both, so you can get all the meats. Oh, Kathy, I also forgot to say it, but I love your shirt. Red ones of my favorite colors. Oh, mine too. I love burgundy. It's such a cute shirt on you. It looks so uh, loose and comfy. I love my shirts loose. Uh, I love my shirts loose. Tight fitting shirts uh, get along with me. Oh, uh, don't get along with me. Oh, I switch between the two of them. So because of my figure, I either wear it very loose and baggy or I wear very form fitting. This is the only two ways I go. But I was in a very snuggly comfort mood today. And so I didn't want, yeah, I just wanted, this is my lazy comfort outfit. Yeah, I just felt like being snuggly today. But it's one of my favorite shirts because it's probably my most comfortable shirt. Um, chat always makes fun of me when I wear this shirt though. Like, yeah. They always say I look like I'm in flash dance. You guys, I was born in 86. I've seen Flash Dance, but that was a little before my time. But I have seen it, and I don't fucking care what you say. I like, I don't know, I like off-the-shoulder shirts. I have a couple of them. I think they're fun. I think they're cute. But I always get made fun of when I wear this on chat. Every fucking time, people are like, Kathy, are you trying out for Flash Dance? Fuckers. It's every time. Kathy's 
uncle has 90% lean pounding meat. I will say my uncle got laid. I was young, but I, I, I did see the stream of women that came in and out of the house. Yeah. Now when I'm older, I know what the fuck was happening, but my fucking uncle got laid regularly. There was always some, I would always be like, he would always say they're his friend, but he brought a lot of friends home. They often changed quite regularly. Didn't know what the fuck was going on until I was older. But yeah, dude, he is 100%, 90% lean pounding meat droid. Thank you for that. Electric Grinder says Big Teddy has a knife that cuts the fiber, knife that cuts the fibers in the meat and then screws, presses, slash grinds, phrasing the meat against the whole, you did this shit on purpose, Big Teddy forces it through. So technically it does both. Oh my God, Big Teddy had so much fun writing this. Because he put so much effort into writing this exclamation point phrasing, I'll read it one more time. <clears throat> An electric grinder has a knife that cuts the fibers of the meat. And then the screw presses slash grinds the meat against the whole plate and forces it through. So it technically it does both. There you go. Big Teddy, I know you put effort into that. I wanted to make sure to read it nice and slow for you. All right, bedtime for Bloodhound. Time for this bozo. Night, 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 Bloodhound. Sweet dreams. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bloodhound's going to bed. Sleep well. Uh, Uncle Dan, call an ambulance. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, yeah. He was the one who, like, whenever he would accidentally get a cut or something, he was a handyman and an electrician as well, so he was always fixing shit around the house. And it was the first time I ever saw someone be like, oh, no, I got a cut. Super glue. And he super glued. He never super glued us. We got band-aids. But whenever he had a cut, he fucking super glued it. And I was like, the fuck are you doing? And it was apparently uh, something that they did, you know, in the army. They fucking super glued small cuts and shit, which I've heard nowadays is not the most bueno thing to do. It was very weird being raised by uh, that man. But if you really get to know me, it explains a lot about me that I was raised by that. Obviously, my choice in men has something to do with it. I don't think I date small, tiny, passive guys, do you? Sleep well, Bloodhound. No rush, take your time. Ooh, sorry. Cock block, uh, my head's in the gutter. But thank you. I like it when people say that to me. Hi, Gabby Chap. What's up, neighbor? Hi, Uncle Stinky. Nice to see you. I have never once made fun of you for wearing that shirt. I like it. Big Teddy, thank you. You make fun of me for other stuff, but apparently not my shirt. I like this shirt. I don't fucking care what anyone else is say. Also, if you flip me shit, this is a sports bra, motherfuckers. You, you can't flip a shit for wearing a strap that shows that it's a sports bra. Pro tips, everybody knows that. But yes, I like this shirt. It's comfortable. It's a like it's loose. It's comfortable. I like the color. I'm gonna fucking wear it. Uh, even if chat flips me shit every time I wear it, I don't wear it too often. But it's my snuggly shirt. It's my snuggly shirt. It's what I wear when I want to snuggle. Um, thank you, Big Teddy, for not flipping me shit on that there thing. It's a new shirt. I love it. Uh. The off the shoulder thing is cute. That's what I thought. I thought it was cute. And I love the 80s, one of my favorite aesthetics. I was born in the 89, so I missed all the things. It's okay, Paxi, I was born in 86. I missed most of the things as well. So I usually wear it, this is way too much conversation about my shirt. I usually, when I go out, I wear it where it's fully uh, symmetrical, but it always starts to hang from one side and I don't mind it. I think it looks relaxed. I like the relaxed look. It's funny, I will say Chad has commented more on my shirt than my husband ever has. He has not ever mentioned a single thing about this shirt, but every fucking time I wear it on stream, someone's got a comment about, I either look like I'm in flash dance or some shit like that. More drinking. But thank you, Baxi, I appreciate it. Uh, I totally saw flash dance in this shirt. I, okay, here's my problem. I don't know, is that a compliment? Or is it an insult? The only thing I know about Flashdance, because I don't remember the movie, is that she goes like this and she goes, 
and then pulls a chain and then the water drops on her. That's the only thing I know. Is there any other part of that movie? I have no idea what else is in Flashdance. I was born in 86. All I know is the chair, the head back, and the fucking water shit. Yeah. And she's a maniac, me. That's all I know. So when people say that, I was like, I get the reference. I, I know what you're talking about. Never seen the movie. Never seen the movie. I just know apparently I need some fucking chain to pull water on me. Moving on. Why did I get spanked for that? Okay. Uh, okay, here I'm giving a normal explanation on how... Oh, that's why I got spanked. Big Teddy. Here I am giving a normal explanation on how a meat grinder works and Kathy turns it into some D-Gen reading section! Exclamation point spank. Oh, I got spanked for that? All right, fair enough. I probably deserved it. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Uh, oh yeah, I can flip you shit for absolutely anything you can think of. Uh, I just don't bother to. Oh, very nice. Uh, here is something. Your shoulder sign is freaking crooked. Wait, here is something. Your shout out sign is crooked. What? My camera might be crooked. I don't, no, it's not crooked. The camera's crooked. Shout out's normal. Don't know why, but I was thinking more Sigourney Weaver. Ooh, I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it like a champ. Oh, give me Sigourney Weaver. You talking Sigourney Weaver in Aliens? That is the nicest compliment anyone's ever said to me in my entire fucking life. Really? I love Sigourney Weaver. Especially if you talking about her in Aliens? That's my jam. Uh, backflip. Hey, what's up, backflip? How are you doing? Welcome in. We're degenning tonight. Why is my phone here? We're degenning tonight. We're... It's National Bourbon Day. I had a rough fuck it, week. And I'm probably going to have another rough week tomorrow. And so we are just chopping carrots right now and drinking bourbon. It is National Bourbon Day, which was a happy coincidence. And we are going to make yakisoba later and maybe some kimchi. But really, we're just drinking bourbon and spending goddamn three hours chopping carrots. But how are you doing? Welcome in. Uh, Satan loves you, Cabeza. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That makes me so happy in all my hearts. Uh, if you have a chain to pull it with butter, that would fall on you. Ah, that's a good point, Shovels. Big cleanup mess. But you're absolutely right. Here in the AFK kitchen, it rains butter. If I'm going to pull a chain and shit's going to fall on me, it's going to be butter. Good point. Good point. Uh, lady, uh, it is a total compliment. Compliment from. Thank you, Uncle Sinky. I appreciate you. What are the carrots for? The carrots for are, are the carrots for are, the carrots are for kimchi. And then tomorrow, some yakisoba. Uh, we're making a shit ton of yakisoba for the shelter. We're doing like an Asian fusion thing this week. And then uh, one of my girlfriends, Mindy, she is a Korean, Korean American. So she was one of those Koreans who was adopted by a Caucasian couple. And uh, she does like Korean food, but she didn't grow up with it. And then she met me, her half Korean neighbor. And, uh, we fell in love with each other and bonded over Korean stuff. So, uh, just recently she asked me if I, she could have a batch of my kimchi. So I said, fuck yeah. So I'm making some for her right now. So yeah, we're feeding the homeless shelter. We're feeding my very beloved friend Mindy. And we're drinking copious amounts of bourbon because it's just that kind of day. And I have to say, I'm very proud of my pile of stuff. Uh, Eel Marksman says, yes, Sigourney Weaver and Ghost... Ah! Oh, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, gate, gatekeeper, keymaster? I'm the gate... Ah, oh, fuck me, what is it? Oh, Sigourney Weaver and Ghostbusters is... Uh, I remember keymaster, what is it? Ah, oh, shit. And that's got Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis is the... Keymaster, and she's. <sighs> there is no blah. There is only Zool. God damn it! It's been a while. Oh fuck me! I don't remember. Ah uh, yeah, I'll take Sigourney Weaver and Ghostbusters as well. Thank you, Paxi. I appreciate it. I love Sigourney Weaver. 
First movie he invited friends over to watch uh, was A Child Was a Flashdance. No lie. I uh, thought that was normal to watch at age seven. Totally normal. Yeah, for sure. Can't spell today. Neither can I. I can't spell on any day. Bourbon and carrots. I'm in. Uncle Stinky, welcome to the AFK kitchen. We're just drinking bourbon and di oh, julienning carrots. I don't really think anyone is surprised. I moved this to just chatting because I knew this was going to happen. Uh, Kinji, mm, yes, we still making that. We are. We're attempting for sure. Uh, bourbon and and goddamn carrots. My political platform in a nutshell. <laughs> bourbon and goddamn carrots. <laughs> oh, Kabisa, I love you. Um, mm, kimchi. Okay, if you guys want to get me excited when you write me, mm, you should do at least five M's, and I'll get all happy in my lady parts. Mmm, kimchi. Still need a good jar. Uh, the one I got from my local grocery store is awful. No spice and just tastes like salty cabbage. Fuck that shit. Uh, I haven't finished it because it's not good. Oh my god, no, Paxi, if you get kimchi from like an American grocery store, that's what it tastes like. Shit, it's not spicy, has no umami, it has, it, it, it is, it's salted cabbage. If you want good kimchi, I swear to Panda Crackers, super easy to make. All you need is nap, you don't even need Napa cabbage, fuck that shit. You just need some sort of cabbage, green cabbage works. Um, you do the vegetables like carrots and onions, whatever the fuck. And then what you really need is uh, kosher salt, kochukaru, which is the red chili flakes, fish sauce, and a little bit of sugar. I swear to God that'll be, that's like, that's bare bones kimchi. You need the kosher salt to brine the napa cabbage so it gets all floppy and shit. Uh, you need the kochukaru, the red Korean chili flakes, to bring the spice and the flavor you need the sugar to feed the lacto fermentation, and then you need the fish sauce to give the depth of flavor. I swear to fucking God, my bare bones kimchi, that's all that's in it. Add the carrots, add the onions. If you have seo which is the little fermented shrimp babies, add that shit. Gar oh, oh, and garlic, I'm sorry, I forgot. Garlic and a teeny bit of ginger, add that for sure. But really, that's all kimchi is, yeah, it is. It is brined cabbage with chili flakes and a fuck ton of umami. Yeah, I I refuse to buy kimchi from an American grocery store because it, it does taste like shitty salted cabbage. Korean, or um, if you get it at the Korean grocery store, it's good, but it still doesn't make me happy the way I want it to. That's why I make my own kimchi. Also, the highest compliment I've ever gotten in my entire life was when my mom said my kimchi was better than the H Mart kimchi. My mom's Korean, like born and raised from Korea, currently is living in a condo in Korea, like as we speak right now. She rotates around the world, but right now she's in Korea. And my mom said my kimchi was better than H Mart's. I'm still coasting on that shit. She said it like two years ago, but I'm so happy. Okay, catching up before I fall behind. Um, yeah, kimchi is great. Uh, you are the key master. Wait, fuck me, evil marksman. Can I use it as a pickup line? Wait, back up. Can we use Ghostbusters as a pickup line? All right, chat, let me know. If I went up to you at a club or a bar or whatever, Sigourney Weaver, Sigourney Weaver style as right now, if I went up to you and I said, you are the key master, would that work? Would that work? Is that a pickup line? I wanna know if that's a decent nerdy pickup line. I, ha I have pickup lines. That work really well. I've never used that one before, but I want to know. You are the key master. Would that work? Curi inquiring minds want to know. Gatekeeper and the key master. It is gatekeeper and the key master. There you go. I met a fellow Iris descendant and we did not bond. Oh, I'm sorry, Cabeza. Make the food, Kathy. I will try, Eagle Lover. It's not my top priority tonight. My top priority is bourbon because it's National Bourbon Day. And that's a shitty day. The two coincided, and that's what this stream is. Uh, we told each other to F off. Yeah, that's what happens when two uh, Irish descendants meet. You could easily cosplay as Zool. No, I could not, Evil Marksman. I need short hair for that, which I ain't fucking cutting my hair again. So I'll have to get, a, like, a wig cap. Zool... Yeah, no, she got the skin type suit with the sparklies, right? But she has short fucking pixie cut. I can't do that. I can't do it. I have long hair and I'm not cutting it off. There is no Dana, only Zul. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 
Oh no, Big Teddy's tardy. I'm gonna go take a nap and have a fun stream, all you DJs. Thank you, Big Teddy. Sweet dreams. Love you. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Uncle Stinky says, I was about to ask why Korean neighbor wasn't on stream. Then I remembered my pervy self is in here. Why is the Korean neighbor not on stream? The Korean neighbor lives yonder. So she actually used to live right up the stream, or right up the stream, right up the street from me. Uh, but she got divorced, which was really sad. And she moved to Edmonds, which is far away from me. And so I don't get to see her very often. Um, but she's awesome. I love her. But uh, I saw her recently for a uh, I've been trying to reach out to my girlfriends and do more girl I think the everything is starting to hit me quarantine and whatnot so I've been trying to meet up with my girlfriends more often and so I saw her recently and she requested kimchi so I said I'd be back in a week with kimchi so that's what we're doing also she is hot she's extremely good looking she is uh married with a eight month old daughter though so hands off uh, there is a good Branson's Paxi I like, but they were sold out, so I had to get the other one. Um, I want to make kimchi, but my mom hates the smell of it and said that I'm not allowed to make it, the kimchi with her. She hates it when I buy jars that are on. Paxi, did you do the sandwich bag trick? I've never had a complaint about kimchi in my life, and I do the sandwich bag trick. So what you do is you take your jar of kimchi, and then you put a plastic sandwich bag over... The opening and then you screw on the lid and that will keep the smell in if you use like plastic wrap or saran wrap it's a little too thin and doesn't quite work but I've never had a problem where I put a sandwich bag on top of it closed it the smell never leaks never had a problem and I'm married to the man who's like fucking bitches about everything and I've never had a problem about the smell of our fridges I have one two three four fridges I and there's kimchi in one two three of them never had a complaint about smell before try the sandwich bag trick i will say that once you open the jar and eat it yeah people are gonna bitch so maybe eat it outside but if it's just a matter of storing the kimchi you can also do the other thing where uh, some people have a kimchi fridge i'm not saying go to h mart and spend two grand on the goddamn kimchi fridge but you can use an old college dorm room fridge and convert it to a kimchi fridge so it stores your kimchi and maybe like beer or not. you use like the beer fridge and then uh your mom will never open that fridge thus never smell it pro tips from a korean girl who's dated many people who don't like the smell of kimchi Gabby, be a good girl and make the i am being a good girl i'm being awesome right now um Yes, I know you said you were going to do kimchi stream soon. I'd love to watch you make some and learn how. Well, I'm doing it right now, but I'm not doing it very well. Uh, might work if the person knew what they were talking about. Ghostbusters, fair enough. Uh, it is the only if they reply, are you the gatekeeper? Okay, so wait, what's my pickup line? Is it I am the key master or are you the key master? What's my pickup line? I have to write this shit down because it's funny. Uh, are you the gatekeeper? Oh, okay, so it is, it is a personal question. Are you the gatekeeper? And the answer is... Wait, I can't get it. Ghostbusters Little Women Cosplay is a thing. Yeah, for sure. Are you the gatekeeper? Yes. Are you the gatekeeper? Only if the reply is, are you the gatekeeper? Are you the key master? Are you the gatekeeper? Okay, good to know. It's a good thing. How would one pull that off? I'm trying to imagine someone going up in a bar and going just saying, oh, I can't do it with a straight face. Are you the key? No, I don't think you can. I need to get a single friend to try this out. Uh, sweet Jesus, you seriously didn't know the key master thing was an innuendo? I'm enormously disappointed. No, dude, I got it. I just never thought to use it as a pickup line there, ceviche. Any pickup line would work with me. Uncle Stinky, how tall are you? I will say I only have one really good pickup line, but it only works for people who are very tall. Actually, her hair is more of a big curly, almost afro style. Yeah, I don't have curly hair. I've curled it on occasion. So yeah, Sigourney Weaver's hair is also... 
It's pretty curly in Aliens as well. My hair is not curly today. In general, it's kind of what it is. Every now and then I'll curl it for stream because I want to be fancy for you guys, but my hair is not very curly anymore. Which bourbon do you have there? Backflip, we have, in order from lowest proof to highest proof, we have two bars straight bourbon whiskey, which is 80 proof. We have Nightside Bourbon, which is 90 proof. We have Larceny, which is 92 proof. And then we have Four Rural, four Roses Single Barrel, which is uh, 100 proof. Also, my kids don't have school tomorrow. Thank you, phone, for telling me that. How is your stream going, Lin J? Good. We've had some naughty conversations about doorbells. And I am so productive on chopping carrots. Note, the chopped carrots, pretty big deal. And it's National Bourbon Day. I had a pretty shitty day. I'm probably gonna have a shitty week. And given everything that's going on in our crazy ass life, I'm probably gonna have a shitty week next week. So when I found out today was National Bourbon Day, I gave up on being productive. And now we're drinking bourbon and slicing carrots. This will go into a yakisoba for tomorrow's Feed the Hungry. We're going to feed the homeless shelter yakisoba along with a bunch of other things. And then we're also half-assing some kimchi behind me. And it'll also go in there. But how are you doing? How are streams? Shout out to... I don't have a lot of mods tonight. All my mods are asleep on a Tuesday night. That means we can degen harder because there's no one to supervise us. Shout out to Lin J. If you guys don't know, Lin J is a fellow streamer here on Twitch. She is technically a variety, variety streamer, but girl throws down in food and drink. She also does gaming streams like Genshin Impact and does Fortnite as well. You should go check her out. She is motherfucking adorable. Also, if you are cool with my swearing like a sailor and all that shit, you'll love her even more because she's basically me, but knows how to cook and is cuter. So go check her out. Uh... Wait, fucking sweet gods, four fridges? No. Well, okay, we have, uh, it's hard to explain. So we have a normal fridge right yonder. We have the AFK fridge, which is that motherfucker right there. That is purely because we got it for a really, really good deal because it was on, like, we had friends liquidating assets, so we bought this fridge. Melon bought it for me because I was streaming and I needed extra space for all stream stuff. We have a fridge downstairs because we have a mother-in-law suite. And then we have a mini fridge that was from when Malin was in college. So when I say four fridges, it's actually three and a half. And special circumstances. Not any of the shit you're thinking. Yeah. Uh, she was going, well, once you get past the smell, you got, you gotta like it. I, Bosu, agree, 100%. Also, welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, no, Cabeza, we have three and a half fridges to correct. And it's because we have a mother-in-law suite downstairs. We have a normal fridge and then I'm a fucking streamer. So we have an extra fridge. Uh, uh, you would have to go to one of those nerd themed bars or cons after parties to try and feel it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Paxi. When we go to Comic Con and I'm left unsupervised, done. Yeah. If and when in Comic Con and your husband's not there... I'm going to go hit on some people and I'm going to try to use the, are you the key master? Yeah. I'm going to use that as a pickup line. I'm going to go around and see if I can hit on people and get anyone. I'm not like, okay, mind you, I'm a married woman. I am also a shameless flirt, but I, I do it just for lulls. I do it to make people laugh. I'm not actually trying to get them in bed, but I will try that line to see if I can make someone blush and get them to laugh. It'll be really hilarious. Um, Uncle Sink is 5'2". What's up? How you doing? Uh, you're the same as me. We're the same size. Uh, you've gone very far with chopping carrots. Yeah, do you know the giant ass pile? Look at that is a, that is a, Lin Jay, substantial pile, right? Mind you, it was only two carrots. I'm still working. This is just two carrots, but I'm doing pretty good. Lin J, how are your streams going? What do you have planned going on this week for streams and other shenanigans? Welcome in. Uh, Keen's here. Uh-oh. He said, uh-huh. What up, Keen? How you doing? Welcome. I was thinking about you earlier. You never answered my question. Motherfucker. Keen never answered my question last time. I 
I propositioned you, Keen, and you didn't answer my goddamn question. Also, how are you doing? We're celebrating National Bourbon Day by drinking copious amounts of bourbon and chopping carrots because I was going to make real food tonight and then I changed my mind. I decided chopping carrots. <laughs> we're gonna make yakisoba tomorrow and we're also gonna make kimchi tomorrow, but because I didn't feel like doing shit tonight, we're just chopping carrots and drinking bourbon. We're being productive though. We're doing mise en place, which mind you, on any other day, this would probably take me like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, but we're de jetting and drinking bourbon, so it's taking four hours. But whatever, at least we're being productive. Fuck me. Nudes, water, Caffrey. Oh, fuck, shit, balls, crack. One sec. I have to mark something on my phone. Um. I'm supposed to drink a gallon of water every day. It's a little close to the line, but I think I did drink pretty much a gallon of water today and I need to mark it before I get my poor trainer in trouble. It's not that he gets in trouble when I'm bad, but he's a good trainer. I don't want him to get bad marks. Like I did all my, I was a good girl. I did my rest day. I logged one healthy meal, meal and I drank a gallon of water. There we go. It fucking sucks that if your client is a bitch, you get punished as the trainer. But on the app, if I, if I don't like my trainer or I say something negative, he gets punished for it. And he's a good trainer. I'm not going to get him punished. Punish me, not him. All right, moving on. Uh, the doorbell is the gate. Well, oh my God, Cabeza. The doorbell on the gate of the gatekeeper pokes the doorbell. Oh, my God, Cabeza. That might right there be the most raunchiest thing anyone has said in chat. I'm going to say it again. We're gonna, I'm gonna insert devil. The devil's doorbell on the gate of the gatekeeper. Oh my God, Cabeza wins tonight. Uh, Paxi says, yes, treat yourself to the bourbon. I am. Uh, take it easy on yourself. If you know things are gonna be difficult for you because you, uh, you matter, it's okay. Just take a mental health day, whatever you need it. Yeah, I took one yesterday. I had, I was an hour and a half late to stream because I had a girl or I had a dinner date with my best friend and we girl talked, I really needed it. I have not been out of the house in a really long time. And then uh, I fucking checked out today. And then on Saturday, my girls uh, are taking, there's like six of us. This, uh, six of us are gonna go uh, skeet shooting on uh, Saturday. We used to do it a lot more often, but since the pandemic, we haven't done it. But we're gonna go shoot some clay pigeons with some shotguns. And then we're gonna have some Mexican food. So I'm gonna be really late to stream on Saturday because my girls are taking me out. Yeah, it's gonna be good times. Fuck you, Cabeza. Oh, God. All right. Thank you, nudes, for the water. Caffrey, that is done. Cabeza, de cerveza, cuffing me. I'm never gonna get these carrots done if you cuff me. Uh, computer. Set handcuff timer for 10 minutes. We're gonna lose the secondary cam because oh, no. I'm just blocking it. Uh, thank you, Paxi. Treat yourself. Uh, okay, I think you're running a fridge game and running the price up on the order. Take advantage of the unscrupulous investors. Cabeza, you're probably right. Finish up your daily water. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God, it's so far away. Newts? Because I love you. <sighs> Done. Also, I told you guys, I'm, there's one good thing I am at, it's chugging. All right, water hath been done. What's next? Uh, I am evil? Yes, Cabeza confirming he is evil. Uh, Lynn J says, lol, I'm sick and I have a sinus cold. No! So, uh, weekday streams. I feel better. I'll make barilla tacos and cinnamon rolls. It's hilarious. A bunch of my friends just made barilla tacos and I'm the only one who didn't make them and have still never made them and still don't know what they taste like. So I should, I want to try them too. Aww. Everyone knows how to fuck the barilla tacos except for me. Lynn J cannot wait to see it. Uh-oh, Keen's here. Uh-oh, thought you, uh... Though you never messaged off your, wait, what did Keen say? 
I didn't message off stream because you never consented, Keen. You have to say, yes, Kathy, let's do that shit, and then I will fucking one proof proofread and edit. Then I will send you. What do we You never said what you agreed to. We go on three pages, bro? Single spaced? What are we doing here? You never told me what we were doing, but you tell me what we're doing and then I'll message you, but we had a very much, I'll show you mine if you show me your situation. You never responded. Good girl. I am a good girl. Fucking right. Whiskey counts as water too. I agree, evil marksman. Hey, what's up, Alex? Welcome in. Nice to see you. How's Joe doing? How's life? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm sorry that this week is going to be bad. It's going to be a bad week. I think that, oh, this week is going to be weird and just like kind of like, eh. next week is going to be a shitty fucking week. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Don't know. I just know we have a lot of transitions going on. A lot of shit with the kids. Just, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. Next week is probably going to be rough. If I do miss my first stream, it'll probably be next week. Girls day sounds fun, says Paxi. Uh, none of my friends live close enough or are too busy and my sister lives in Pasadena. I always wanted to try axe throwing. I heard that's a fun slash awkward first date. One of those uh, egg rooms where you just smash it. I heard that the axes, you throw them and they like bounce off the wall sometimes. Like there's like a technique to getting them to actually like stick. It's not easy necessarily. I also want to learn archery. Uh, got to try that at the Ren Fair and it was so fun. Yeah, actually at my bachelorette party, we went to a more or less a Ren Fair and we did archery. It was pretty fucking fun. Yeah, Paxi, do it. Happy getting out of the house day, kabloom. Yeah, it was pretty fun. The yesterday's sushi dinner with Jenny was really great. Saturday uh, with the girls is going to be awesome. And honestly, all of us, like six of us getting together, we have not done that in like six months. It's it's a bunch of raging, raging introverted Asian girls. Like we very rarely, all and like half of us have kids, half of us don't. So for all of us to get together and do shit is actually really hard, but we have made a plan to all get together on Saturday. And I, I actually didn't ask. I just told, I was like, Hey, Malin, I'm going out with the girls. You have the kids on Saturday. Peace out, bitch. And hopefully he handles it well. You still cutting carrots at Viking. I have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe. Yes. We haven't even made it to the third bottle yet. How are you doing Viking? What's up with you? Uh, can you do something for me, Kath, and give Melon a handcuff hug? I love you, eagle lover. Not gonna happen. One, he's busy, and if I interrupt him, he's gonna yell at me. And two, these handcuffs are gonna be off soon. Right? Yeah, five more minutes. Uh, Paxi says, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Sinus colds are the worst. When I get them, my throat always feels like I'm swallowing glass. Yeah. Uh, I can breathe through my nose and I have to sleep with my mouth open. I have to sleep all right. I hope you feel better. Paxi, how often do you get... I've only had like a sinus cold once or twice. You are very descriptive, which makes me think you've had them more than twice. I'm so close to being done. That is not what she said, but I need to finish these carrots. Um. Uh, Kathy is full head shaking. I'm ready for this. What does that mean? What does full head shaking mean? What do you mean I'm doing? Why are these cuffs still on me? We are so close to being done with this here bourbon, which means we're going to have to move on to our last bottle of the night. What time am I? We're at, I've done really good. I've done a bottle per hour. That is professional pro tip right there. We're doing really good. All right. Um, can I fucking these goddamn cuffs? Okay. Uh, I really mean technically she's hydrating with the liquor because she puts the water in so staying hydrated and getting lit at the same time. Paxi, that's what we call professional pro. Yes, I do water down my bourbon. It makes it so I can taste the notes better and also I'm a sipper. I like to put things in my mouth regularly. So if I am just doing a straight shot, one, it's a little too intense for me and then also it goes too fast. So this is how I pace myself. But I will kill this in a second and then we'll move on to Four Roses. And thank you, Paxi, for standing up for me. Axe throwing is so much fun, says Lynn J. I'm going to take my team out to do that as a team building thing. Oh my god, fun! 
fun. That's super fun. I've never done it before. I've just seen people do it. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, evil marksman means the water of life, which is how they use to describe whiskey. Whiskey is the water of life. It sounds like you just described some sort of crazy Netflix anime series. Yes! I'm down for that. Thanks, Roxy. Yeah, those are exactly my symptoms. I hope it goes away soon. Oh my god, Lin J, I hope so as well. That's no fun being sick. Uh, I make access for the World Axe Throwing League. Wait, I'm throwing knives too. Really, Bosu? That's like for a hobby or for a career? That's pretty cool though. Very rarely once or to twice a year, but when I get them, they are hard to forget. Paxi, once or twice a year, I feel like is a lot. I've maybe had a sinus cold once or twice my life. Yeah, that's way more than me. I don't know. I've also, I don't want to jinx myself, but I haven't had like sinus infections or ear infections or any of that before, but I've heard that they are fucking a bitch, that they're really, really terrible. Yeah. I get sinus colds about once a year. They suck. Once a year is still a lot to me. Oh, wait, what the fuck did I get spanked, Cabeza? What the fuck did I do? Spanking me and shit. What's it for? I better be a good reason. Thanks for asking why. Why? Why did I get spanked? Also, how many spankings did I have today? Exclamation point spankings. Did we break 10? No, I think we're like at eight. I think we've only been spanked eight times tonight. Not too bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, I actually haven't had one at all since the pandemic really. Yeah, a lot of people have gotten less sick because they just don't go out as much. Uh, thinking COVID was the first uh, time I got sick in two and a half years. Damn. I think wearing a mask may have helped a lot. I agree. Spankings. Ooh, I'm at eight. Thank you, Lin J, for the spankings command. I'm at eight. All right. Not too bad. That's basically what I, th I I wasn't quite sure if we broke 10 tonight. I've been pretty good tonight. Ah, I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good. I promised, uh, I promised I wouldn't get too bad tonight. Being that it is a school night and I said I wasn't going to drink on a school night, but one, had a shitty day. And two, it's National Bourbon Day. You couldn't really expect me to behave myself under those circumstances. Right? All right, uh, I ended up taking Sudafed for my cold system. Helped me a lot. Sudafed? Sudafed? Sudafed. Can't remember the last time I took Sudafed. I also, I have a pretty good immune system. I don't get sick very often. And if I do, it goes away pretty fast. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that's what did it, along with the hot toddy. So the last time our family got sick, uh, it's always Jace. Our five-year-old is a Trojan horse. He's always the first one to get sick. And then it's a matter of, like, everyone either, like, quarantining away from him or doing whatever they can and then the last time he got sick everyone else in the house got sick except for me my trick was as soon as i started to feel like i might get sick i i had me a hot toddy and i didn't get sick and everyone else did i'm not saying this is like scientific method shit here but i'm saying i didn't get sick god damn thank god computer off Duke handcuffs. Do you know how hard it is to explain to people why they shouldn't come into my stream? Yeah, like my neighbor, somehow it came up that I, I streamed. And she's like, oh, what's the name? I'll, I'll go and check it out. I was like, oh, God, please no. Please don't come into my stream. No. Not a good idea. How the fuck am I going to explain? Oh, yeah. I hang out with people on the internet. I drink copious amounts of bourbon with them. I take... Four hours to chop two carrots, and I drink copious amounts of bourbon. It's hard to explain to people. Um, yeah, hot toddy is a great idea, Eva Marksman. Uh, is how you say the word. Okay, ishka baha is how you say the word. Thank you. Uh, spilt it out as it's a uh, garlic and this strip sounds good. You can have all the spankings you want, Keen. No comment. Also, thank you for my firm hand. I like it. Thank you so much. You know I need it. Uh, Cabeza says, I only relate to, uh, to illnesses in terms of having strep throat. 
uh, once to three times a year. Once my tonsils are removed. Oh, Cabeza, that's brutal. Paxi says, I've only had an aching pain towards cold from my uh, COVID, like the second day of symptoms. Took Tylenol, it was gone, and never came back. Woohoo! Nice. Uh, you think a hot toddy day will keep the sick away? Uh, Paxi, I think it would be a fun experiment to try. I can't have that much honey in my diet, but let's go. I do believe a hot toddy a day will. Before I start this last couple inches of carrot, we, let's get on our, our last bottle. Uh, I usually drink emergency every day, but sometimes I forget. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work to drink emergency. I've been giving my kids emergency gummy vitamins and they fucking got sick. Even though, like, two weeks into them and they still got sick and I was like, fuck these things. Uh, not gonna explain says Vikings, you're tame. A slow ass cook, but tame and sweet. All of those are very true. I am tame. And I am a slow ass. But I'm sweet? Thank you, Viking. I appreciate it. I'll take all of those as compliments. Uh, okay, okay. I should get some sleep. Have uh, fun getting through the bourbon. Stay naughty, chat. Oh, Lin J, you're so cute. Stay naughty, chat. Uh, Lin J is... Uh, we're two peas in a pod. If you guys like the AFK stream, you will love Lin J. She, she and I are very similar. Two petite Asian chicks who might be slightly raunchy and de Jenny, who like to cosplay, like nerdy shit, and I don't know, have a good sense of humor. You should do go check her out. If you're not checking her out, she is fucking awesome. Also, she's the like, 2.0 version of me because she actually knows how to game and how to cook. So, yeah. If you have to follow us, go follow her. Last bourbon of the night. We're going for roses. Oh. I'm so proud of myself for pacing myself. It's not bad. Uh, a bottle per hour? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good on me. Pacing myself. Half not gotten kicked off by the mods yet. That's pretty impressive. I know, I know they're lurking. I'm guessing Boo is probably shooting people right now. And, uh, fuck, I don't know what he's playing. Is he doing Call of Duty? No. What is he playing right now? He told me. I fucking forgot. Anyways, but the thing is, we haven't gotten kicked off by the mods, so that's that is a successful stream when you've been doing mostly nothing but drinking and your mods haven't kicked you off. Also, the worst we talked about tonight was clitoris, which is not that bad. All in all, we ain't degenning too hard. Who the fuck was scared? Who the fuck was scared that we were going to be a bad stream tonight being National Bourbon Day? That's totally one shot. Stir. Oh, motherfucker. All right, moving on. I will eventually cut this carrot up. Uh, yeah, the, oh, thank you for the shout out to Lin J. Uh, sinus problems are, uh, fucking, oh, science problems fucking suck. Dude, it's hard to read the monitor this far away. Our new TV did come in, so I, instead of looking down, I will be looking up, but Malin hasn't installed it yet. Shocking. Uh, sinus infections every couple of months. I've had an operation to fix it when I was younger, but it's not complete fix. It can reverse itself. Ooh, boy. Ooh, Alex, that's brutal. Uh, what's on the menu tonight? Rear. Bourbon. We're also chopping carrots and flipping some cabbage. Low expectation night. Welcome in. How are you? Sometimes this happens where I attempt to pretend I'm cooking, but really I'm just drinking copious amounts of alcohol and hanging out with chat. Uh... Cabeza pseudofed is a funny word. Essentially, pseudo, so like sort of fed, fed in is ingredients uh, is crystal meth. Admittedly, a much tamer level. There you go. Uh, Paxi says, agree, you're fun to watch, Kathy. Even if it takes a while to get things done, but it means a lot because you take the time to reach out and make everyone feel included. Yay! It's like we're hanging out with you. That is the whole point. So, 
there are a lot of, uh, I switch between food and drink and just chatting, depending on how much I'm degenning. If I'm actually trying to make a product, I will stay in food and drink. But if I know I'm having a specially degen night, I'll switch us to just chatting because I, I know anyone who comes is gonna be like, you do not count as a food treat streamer. You haven't even finished chopping two carrots in four hours. Hence why we're in just chatting tonight because I knew it was gonna be a drinking stream. So I, technically food and drink should also include the drinking, but I always get yelled at. So I moved us to just chatting tonight, but uh, it is National Bourbon Day. So we are drinking one, two, three, four types of bourbon. Uh, we did two bars, straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, by the way, your, your girl is a bourbon girl. So this is not my collection. This is just the four I chose for tonight. But we did two bars, straight bourbon whiskey, which is 80 proof. Then we moved up to nightside bourbon, which is 90 proof. Yeah. And then we went to larceny, which is 92 proof. And now we're on four roses, which is 100 proof. And also on that note, cheers, chat. Thank you for, uh, I swear to God, like, Whenever I'm feeling down or weird or off, like if I come on stream and I hang out with y'all, I always cheer up. So thank you guys for cheering me up. I had a, I'm having a wonderful fun, fun time with you even though all I did was chop carrots and flip some cabbage for kimchi. But cheers guys, happy National Bourbon Day. Cheers. That's actually, um, more smoky than the other ones. Doesn't doesn't tell me a story on the back. I like it when they give you a whole spiel. That one doesn't have a spiel. But four barrels is definitely, I think, I think it's the most expensive and it's also the highest proof as well. Don't forget to mix all the bourbons at the end. Paxi, remind me. Remind me when we're at the end. Uh, around 11, or extra innings. Yeah, once we get to midnight, remind me, and that's, that's how we'll cap off the night. Uh, Eva Marksman says, I still think uh, you should try a tablespoon of each together when you're done. Yeah, we'll do that at midnight. Give me 30 minutes to drink this and chop that, and let's go. When people just, uh, when people ask, just tell them it's when the mom next door can let her hair down, literally, uh, with a little bit of cooking and cocktails mixed in. Yeah, that's usually what I tell people. I usually, but when I say it like that, they think, oh, well, you know, we'll just, yeah, she's just having a cocktail and blah, blah, blah. No, they don't understand that we had a 30 minute conversation about clitoris and that one time we had a conversation about fingering and how many fingers were the appropriate amount to use. That's the kind of stream we have at times. And I was like, oof, I don't want, I don't want my neighbors coming into that. My neighbors are significantly older than me or like my IRL friends and family. I was like, oof, you guys should not come into my stream because I don't actually think my IRL friends and family know how much of a DJ I really am. Maybe my, my mother-in-law comes into chat every now and then. She hasn't in a long time and let's hope it stays that. I don't usually like hard liquor, but Kathy, I'm going to have to try it your way sometime. Does it work for all liquor or just for bourbon? Paxi, all. I think it works for all. I can do it with gin, I can do it with bourbon, whiskey, scotch, tequila. Yeah, any 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 hard A. I can drink if it's over rock, if it's over ice with a splash of water, I can pretty much drink anything. It takes the sting out of it. You can taste more of the flavors. It hydrates you and it paces you. I used to get flipped a lot of shit in chat when I did it that way. Uh, people don't flip me as much shit anymore, but that's how I enjoy, that's how I drink it. And if you've seen stream, you know that I very much enjoy bourbon and may or may not go through, you know, some bottles every now and then. I'm enjoying the bourbon. Who's to flip me shit on how I do it? Uh, so what you, wait, uh, say what you want. Those carrots are pretty cut. Thank you, Will Marksman. I, I'm almost done. We gotta, we're, we're getting close. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ha, boo! Bourbon day. I can feel the yeet coming. Boo, how are you doing? We're just talking about you. Of course, we're always talking about you. Uh, I did, I did say there is a 50-50 chance today that I get yeeted off stream by my mods, but so far, 
we've been pretty tame. Also, Malin is not going to be an ass tonight because we doggone stopped. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you this. You're going to spank me for this. Uh, we did stop in the middle of stream and make him a preemptive grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup so that he wouldn't be an ass later on in the night uh, because he was in a bad mood earlier. I interrupted a game of StarCraft and he yelled at me. So preemptively... We made him grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup on stream so that he wouldn't come up later and be Malin. So we should have a smooth sailing for the rest of the night. Also, how are you? How's the wifey? How's the baby? Oh, you're welcome. We love you, Kathy. Love you too. Yeet! I'm not getting yeeted tonight. We haven't even gotten that raunchy. The worst we talked about was four inch lady parts, Satan's doorbell. That's pretty much it. Like, we weren't that bad tonight. We were not that... And 